The family of Mercer Law grad Lauren Giddings doesn't want her accused killer, Stephen McDaniel, to get the death penalty. I was there when Bibb County District Attorney David Cook announced that he withdrew the death penalty notice for McDaniel, who was accused of killing and dismembering Giddings in 2011. Today I formally withdrew the notice of intent to seek the death penalty in the case of State of Georgia versus Stephen McDaniel. Bibb County District Attorney David Cook made the announcement Thursday morning that after careful consideration, his office has decided not to seek the death penalty for Stephen McDaniel, the accused killer of Mercer Law grad Lauren Giddings. Cook says a request to withdraw the death notice came from Giddings' parents. Uh, Lauren's mother and father asked me to withdraw the death notice, although they believe that Mr. McDaniel uh, deserves to be punished to the fullest extent of the law. They recognize that withdrawing the death notice uh, will allow the case to proceed in a more timely fashion. Although the family of a murder victim doesn't determine how the DA should proceed, Cook says he listened to the family very closely. It said something to me when every expert in the field I consulted and the family and my own professional judgment all lined up to the same conclusion, which is that we should withdraw the death notice. The decision to no longer seek the death penalty for McDaniel will dramatically decrease the amount of time it takes to get to trial. DA David Cook says two recent Bibb County death penalty cases didn't come to trial until six or seven years after the murder, but that a non-death penalty case should take about a year and a half, which would bring closure for Giddings family and determine the fate of McDaniel sooner rather than later. It's a huge relief and I'm very pleased uh, I never did think it should have been a death penalty case and uh, was intending with uh, the motions we were preparing to fight the death penalty vigorously. And now I get to turn my attention exclusively to the guilt-innocence issues in the case. For the defense, that means the motions dealing with the death penalty can now be thrown out and McDaniel's attorneys can focus on other issues. I think this is unusual that, um, you know, we have one district attorney who chooses to seek the death penalty. I think that was an unwise decision by Mr. Winters. And I think that Mr. Cook has now fixed it, appropriately so. As for McDaniel? Pretty sure I know he's going to be uh, greatly relieved as well, because now he knows that no matter how the case turns out, it will not result in his being on death row and one day executed. DA David Cook said it wasn't appropriate to discuss the specifics of his meeting with the Giddings family. However, I reached out to Lauren's sister, Caitlin, and this is what she had to say. For or against the death penalty, we don't all have the same beliefs, but we all can come to the agreement on what's best for this case um, despite those beliefs. And we um, know that McDaniel did this and we have the evidence to prove it. Um, so we just want this to come to a close. Caitlin said discussions about the death penalty have been on the table since 2011 for the Giddings family. Their mom is against the death penalty because of spiritual reasons. Caitlin said her family made the decision to request the withdrawal of the death notice earlier this year.